which answer is different from the others. Now the way to do this is once again make them all the same so you understand it and I'm going to choose it into decimals which is and I'm going to imagine it as pennies in the pound. So naught point that's it naught point one two five of a hundred. What does that equal? That equals that would be if it's of a hundred pennies that would be 12 and a half pence, wouldn't it? So 0 0.12, shall we put, it's a half? <laughs> I think that would confuse things, so we'll put the five there as a half. The next one, we've got 12 and a half percent of 100. So 12% of a pound is, um, what does it say? 12 and a half percent of 100. So that would be, 12% if we wrote it's pennies would be that and there's the extra half. So those are the same. Now we've got one eighth of a hundred. A quarter of a hundred is 0.25, do you agree? So half of that which makes it into an eighth, we could just divide a hundred, you know, take your hundred there if you like and divide it by eight. Um, the answer will be there's our 12 pennies and the extra half penny. Um, we'll divide it, 8 into that goes once, 8 into that goes twice, um, remainder 2, and 8 into that goes, I haven't given myself safe enough space. Sarah, you fool. Let's give ourselves more space because it's quite fun, isn't it? Right, into 100. And we know it's going to have to go for a few of those, aren't we? So 8 into that goes once, remainder 2, 8 into that goes twice, remainder 4, bring up the decimal, 8 goes into that 5. So there's our 12.5 pence, which would be written like that if it was in pounds. The next one is 0.15 of 100. That would be 15 out of 100, no, pennies. So that would be 0.15. 5, 15 pence. Yeah, notice that that's a hun not 125 pence. It's 12 and a half, 12 and a half. See, I grew up with half pennies. They were these diddly little things like that. And you could hold your stockings up with them if the plastic bits went. Too much information, but let's face it, nobody's listening at this point, are we? No, quite. So half pennies, a bit like silver sixpences. They were good for holding up your stockings too. Um, so that's the one that's wrong and then the next one is two sixteenths. Do you agree that two sixteenths is one eighth and one eighth was 1.25 so the one that's different is 0.15 of 100 which is D. See you soon.